Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about sugar. I know this has been our topic for quite a while now, um, but I have struggled with acne since like middle school, since sixth or seventh grade. Um, I do not have great skin. I have always struggled with it. Um, my mom took me to the dermatologist quite a few times. I tried all the different soaps and scrubs and everything that was out there. We went from Lancome to Clinique to, you know, it was just Walmart stuff and then department store stuff. It was just anything and everything that we could possibly try because um, it was so bad. And so, of course, as I got older, it did get a lot better, but I still, you know, don't have super awesome skin and I work really hard. Like, if you have ever struggled with acne, you know how, like, just how devastating and difficult it is and a lot of times embarrassing and you just want to hide your face any way possible. And... So, doing all those things and struggling with acne, you, you start to kind of figure out um, things to do. Like, you never use the same washcloth twice. You never use the same towel twice. You don't touch your face, ever. Um, you don't let other people touch your face. You don't rest your hand on your face and prop your, you know, like people sit like this and like that. You know, you don't touch your face, ever. Um, so there's all these like little tips and tricks kind of things that you pick up if you have struggled with acne because you just can't do any of these things. Everything sets it off. Um, so as I got older, it did improve, like I said, but I still use like all the creams, all the lotions and everything I can to combat it. And it did not really get a lot better until I quit eating sugar. And I really didn't know until it happened. Like when I started, um, you know, down the journey of quitting sugar, I was thinking, <clears throat> okay, like we'll just see what happens. Um, you know, I was really looking for more weight loss type of stuff and a little bit more control as far as my food cravings. Um, but when my skin t started to change, that's when I started to get really, really excited because it's something, like I said, that I've struggled with forever and you can't do anything about it. It just is what it is and you got to deal with it. You know, sorry for your bad luck. So when I started to see changes in my skin, that was a huge, huge turning point for me. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is what my face looks like today. Um, I basically quit if you're not aware I quit eating like added sugar now my life is not completely perfect I just wanted to let you know um, you know I still do eat it every once in a while you know over Thanksgiving there was cookies that my grandmother had that I eat like never so I had some of those but on a regular like daily basis when I'm at home controlling my own food um, I, I don't eat added sugar um, so I still do eat, you know, sweet potatoes, butternut squash. Um, I still eat fruit and stuff like that. But just in general, that that's the rule for me. So I just got out of the shower. I had to take my kid to her appointment. But this is what my face looks like. No makeup. And I just want to let you know that quitting sugar has completely changed the way that my skin is. And if you want the same changes that I got, at least in the acne department, you know, regardless of any of the other benefits, like feeling better, improved um, energy, you know, recovering quicker from my workouts, weight loss, that kind of stuff, all of that aside, if you want to improve your skin, quit eating sugar. So this is a quick and short video, guys, but you can click in the link below to get my five days worth of sugar-free hacks if you are interested in changing your skin and if you are interested in getting more of these videos because I have lots of videos on sugar right now and then other ones just about life then you can click to um, subscribe to when I do lives usually I do a couple a week and hopefully I will see you guys in the next live see you later